Imagine standing on a quiet shore at dusk, the sky painted in hues of orange and purple, the waves gently lapping at your feet. In your hand you hold a simple glass bottle, inside it a message, your hopes, your story, a greeting to the unknown. With a deep breath, you toss it into the vast, endless ocean, watching as it drifts away, uncertain of where the currents will take it or who, if anyone, will ever find it. This act is both hopeful and humbling, a leap of faith across time and distance. That's Voyager 1, our own message in a bottle, launched by humanity in 1977. Instead of water, it sails the cosmic sea, drifting through the unimaginable vastness of interstellar space, far beyond the reach of our sun's comforting light. For over 45 years, Voyager 1 has journeyed farther than any human-made object in history. Today it's more than 15 billion miles from Earth, a distance so great that our entire planet is just a pale blue dot, barely visible from its vantage point. Even light, the fastest thing in the universe, takes over 22 hours to travel from Voyager 1 back to us. Every signal it sends is a whisper from the edge of the unknown, a message from the distant past. When we receive its faint signal we're not hearing the present, we're listening to an echo from yesterday, a time capsule of information sent across the void. Voyager 1 is a lonely pioneer carrying with it the golden record, a carefully crafted greeting card from Earth. This record holds music, images and messages in dozens of languages, a hopeful introduction to any distant civilization that might one day discover it. Its original mission was to explore the giant planets Jupiter and Saturn, sending back breathtaking images of swirling storms, intricate rings, and mysterious moons, revealing wonders we had only dreamed of. But Voyager didn't stop there. It pressed onward, flying past Uranus, Neptune, and even the distant realm of Pluto, charting a path through the outer reaches of our solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed a historic boundary, the heliopause, leaving the sun's protective bubble and entering true interstellar space. It became the first human-made object to venture so far, a trailblazer for all of humanity. Running on technology from the 1970s and powered by the faint warmth of decaying plutonium, Voyager 1 continues to send us precious data from beyond our solar system's edge, defying the odds in the passage of time. Scientists expected it to find a silent, empty vacuum, a place where nothing exists but darkness and cold. But the universe had a surprise in store. Instead of emptiness, Voyager 1 detected strange bursts and unexpected signals, hinting at a cosmos far more dynamic and mysterious than we ever imagined. Its instruments revealed energetic particles, waves and cosmic phenomena swirling in the darkness, evidence that even the void between stars is alive with activity, the void, it turns out, is not so empty after all. Voyager 1's journey reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and that our message in a bottle may one day find an answer in the vast mysterious ocean of the cosmos. As Voyager 1 ventured into the vastness of interstellar space, its instruments began to confirm what scientists had long suspected. Between the stars, the universe is unimaginably thin, cold, and mostly empty. The spacecraft, now billions of miles from Earth, was entering a realm where the sun's influence fades and the true nature of the cosmos is revealed. But then, something unexpected happened. The data changed in a way no one had predicted. Voyager began detecting a persistent rhythmic signal, a faint low-frequency hum that seemed to echo through the emptiness. It was as if the silence of space was being gently disturbed by a cosmic heartbeat. NASA scientists checked for malfunctions, scrutinizing every instrument and line of code, but the signal, was real. It wasn't a glitch or a technical error. Voyager 1 was picking up a constant vibration in the interstellar medium, a steady background thrum not tied to the sun's activity or any known source. Imagine stepping into a perfectly soundproof room expecting absolute silence, but instead you hear a deep steady hum that you can't explain. That's what Voyager encountered. An unanticipated presence in the void. That's the mystery Voyager presented. The void is not silent but humming with a subtle, persistent energy. This was completely unexpected. Our theories described interstellar space as calm and undisturbed, unless shaken by rare, violent cosmic events like supernovae or gamma-ray bursts. Instead, Voyager found a continuous underlying vibration, a gentle but ever-present wave moving through the darkness. It's like dipping your hand into what looks like perfectly still water only to feel a steady invisible pulse beneath the surface, hinting at hidden forces at work. This hum suggests a constant low-level energy in the interstellar medium, 
a phenomenon we can't yet explain, but one that hints at a universe more dynamic and alive than we ever imagined. It's a new piece of the cosmic puzzle, delivered from an impossible distance by a tiny spacecraft that continues to defy expectations. The silent void, it turns out, is not silent at all. There is a hidden music in the darkness, a song we are only just beginning to hear. Voyager's discovery forces us to rethink what we know about the space between stars. It challenges our assumptions and opens up new questions about the nature of the universe. The universe once again has surprised us, reminding us that even in the places we expect to find nothing, there can be something extraordinary. The hum is always there, a background thrum in the cosmic darkness, a reminder that the universe is never truly still, and it's only the beginning of what Voyager has to teach us. As it travels further into the unknown, who knows what other secrets it might uncover, whispering back to us from the edge of forever. To grasp this discovery, picture the space between stars as a calm lake. Our sun is a boat, making waves as it moves, the heliosphere. When Voyager left the sun's wake, we expected stillness. Instead, it found a hidden current, a deep, organized vibration. This isn't sound as we know it, it's a plasma vibration, a thrum Voyager's instruments can feel. Unlike sporadic waves from solar outbursts, this hum is constant. It's the background state of the interstellar medium. Something is continuously stirring the cosmic pot, and we don't know what. Theories are just forming. Could it be distant pulsars, ancient galactic vibrations, or something even stranger? Voyager hasn't just answered questions, it's asked new ones. The void is alive with subtle, cosmic energy. We're only beginning to understand what that means. The universe is more dynamic than we ever imagined. This persistent hum could be a clue to one of the universe's greatest mysteries, gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time created by cataclysmic cosmic events. But what if there's a constant, low-frequency background, a cosmic vibration from every black hole merger and neutron star collision? Voyager's instruments might be detecting the plasma's response to this background like leaves rustling in the wind. If proven, this would open a new window into the universe, letting us study cosmic history through the vibrations of space-time itself. Discoveries like this don't just make headlines, they grab the attention of the world's top scientists, sparking curiosity and debate in research centers across the globe. When something truly unexpected emerges from the depths of space, it's as if the entire scientific community leans in, eager to understand what it means for our place in the universe. Nobel-winning physicists see the cosmic hum as more than just a strange signal. For them, it's a bridge between theory and observation a rare opportunity to test the limits of what we think we know, and perhaps rewrite the rules of physics itself. Voyager was originally built to study the outer planets, but now, decades later, it may have stumbled onto the universe's faint, resonant echo, a signal so subtle it could easily have been missed. This accidental discovery is a reminder that sometimes the most profound insights come from unexpected places. This challenges our assumptions about the cosmos. Maybe the interstellar medium isn't just a silent, empty void, but an active environment, interacting with space-time in ways we never imagined, shaping the universe in ways we're only beginning to detect. For theorists, it's a playground of new ideas. Every unexplained signal is a puzzle piece, inviting them to imagine new possibilities and develop bold theories that could change our understanding of reality. Could plasma stretching across the galaxy act as a detector for cosmic phenomena we can't find on Earth? If so, it might reveal secrets about the universe's hidden forces or even help us detect events that have eluded us for generations. That's why scientists aren't dismissing this as a fluke or a simple error. Instead, they're coming together, sharing data, and challenging each other to dig deeper. They warn us, our old models are incomplete, and the universe is far more mysterious than our textbooks suggest. Every new discovery is a reminder that we're still just scratching the surface. The universe is more complex and dynamic than we ever thought, filled with phenomena that challenge our imagination and push the boundaries of science. Science advances by confronting the unknown, not by simply confirming the familiar. It's in these moments of uncertainty that real progress is made. Voyager 1 has knocked on the door of the unknown, inviting us to a new conversation about the cosmos, a conversation that could redefine our understanding of space, time, and everything in between. The next chapter is waiting to be written, and the universe is offering us the pen. What we discover next could change everything. Sometimes a discovery forces us to rewrite the textbooks. 
Voyager 1's detection of a persistent interstellar hum could be one of those moments. Space is not a passive, empty backdrop. It's an active participant in the cosmic drama. This hum may affect star formation, cosmic rays, and even the evolution of galaxies. If it's found everywhere, it could reshape our understanding of the universe. Our knowledge is always provisional, always evolving. Voyager 1 reminds us, the void has a voice and we're just beginning to listen. What does this mean for the future of exploration? It shows there's still so much to discover, even in the empty spaces. Voyager 1 proves the value of sending probes to take direct measurements. Imagine a fleet of new interstellar explorers mapping the cosmic hum across the galaxy. This could transform our understanding of galactic dynamics and the environment our solar system travels through. Voyager was the scout. The next generation will be the surveyors. Its journey inspires us to listen for the universe's background music, not just the solos. The next era of exploration is just beginning. Voyager 1 is humanity's loneliest ambassador, carrying our message into the unknown. Its discovery of the cosmic hum is a poetic final act in its mission. In its old age, it's revealing the universe itself, dynamic, vibrant, and alive with energy. Why should we care? Because it speaks to our deepest human impulse curiosity. We explore for the joy of discovery, to expand our perspective. Learning that space hums with mysterious energy connects us to the cosmos in a profound way. Voyager's greatest lesson is humility and wonder. The universe will always surprise us. We tossed a bottle into the cosmic ocean and it's still sending messages from an unknown shore. The journey isn't over. The symphony is playing and our job is to listen.